Time for some fun! As promised, here's a video showing my setup now that I've got the Lizard 3D doing 3D. Now I will admit that there's still things I need to fine tune, but that's more about me getting used to the airplane than it is about the actual setup itself. So here's how I've done it. As mentioned in the setup video, I try to keep 
the radio as simple as possible. So I have one switch for the flaps. As you can see, I need a little bit of up trim for normal flight, two or three clicks compared to the center. Then a little bit of down with the first point of flaps. And then a little bit more down with the second point of flaps. Now I have the flaps all the way in as far as the servos can take them. Otherwise they don't really do much. So as much deflection as possible and that will help slow it down for landing. Now the other switch that I use of course aside from the landing gear is the gyro. Now I have my safety position which is gyro off which is down where nothing moves. And then we have our flight mode which is where the gyro is on, on all surfaces, but only with a little bit, just for standard flying, just to make the plane fly that little bit smoother. So you can see on the canard there, we have a little bit of movement. And as we move, you probably can't really see it, but you can hear the servos moving. And that has gyro on all surfaces. So ailerons, elevator, canard, and vector elevator and both rudders with vector rudder as well. And then we have the fun mode, which is the full vector, which is for hovering and harriers, which is gyro on pretty much maximum. So you can see, especially the vector, that is really moving with the gyro. So that's going to make our life in 3D a lot, lot easier with any kind of jet. We'll go into the actual numbers itself and you can see what my setup is. But just remember that my setup is with the MKS 737 servos and the MKS arms. So unless you have the exact same setup, the numbers will only be a reference, but it's a good starting point. Aileron gyro, position one, 20% gain with heading hold on. In position two, we have 30% gain and also heading hold on. For elevator, we have 30% gain with heading hold in position one and 40% in position two. For the twin rudders, we have 10% gain without heading hold on. And then for 3D, we increase that to 15%. On vector rudder, we have 12% for normal flying with heading hold off and a massive 60% with heading hold on for 3D. The same applies for elevator with 15% and heading hold on for normal flying and a massive 50% for hovering and other 3D maneuvers. And finally for the canard, I use the same rate for both flying settings, which is just 5% with heading hold on. And just like that, we have our setup for the SAB Lizard and we can go have some real great fun and do all those crazy maneuvers that we wanted to. So with that said, let's go have another flight.
But there we have it, my setup with the SAB Lizard and a load of fun. I still need to get some more flight time on the plane, get it really to my liking, or more to the point, just get used to it myself. But either way, it's flying great, and I can't wait to come back again next week to have some more flights with it. Until then, thanks for watching, leave us a like, subscribe if you aren't already, and we'll see you all in the next one.